Hey there, this is Travis Wright. Okay, lately I've been hearing about people that would like to be able to update Active Directory from Service Manager. In particular, it seems like people want to be able to do this around users. So today I'll show you a quick demonstration of how you can create a workflow that's triggered by the update of a property in the Service Manager CMDB that then goes and uses PowerShell to update Active Directory. And by doing this, you make sure that the Active Directory information is up to date and that the next time the Active Directory connector to Service Manager runs, it doesn't get the old information from Active Directory and overwrite the new information in Service Manager. So to do this, we'll create a new management pack. Okay. Give the management pack a name. This will show up over here in the management pack explorer. And all we're going to do is create a quick workflow here. So we right click on the workflows node, choose create, brings up the wizard, and we call this update business phone in AD. And click next. And here we can choose to trigger this workflow when an object in the database is updated. And here we can choose Active Directory user as the class. And we'll say when it's updated. And then we'll set some additional criteria here. And we'll say whenever the business phone property. And now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put in kind of a placeholder thing because the actual criteria we want here, which is that the value before the update is not equal to the value after the update, is not something that we can do in the UI. So I'm just going to put a placeholder, placeholder in here to make it easier for us to edit the XML later. So I'm just going to put in some random thing here about that the condition is when it changes from A. Okay, so it's just placeholder. Let me click Next. Let me click Create and Close. Now we've got the workflow designer here. And we can go over here and drag and drop a Windows PowerShell script activity and rename this to Update Business Phone in AD. And then we need to pass a couple I know about that. I must have had a uh, space in there or something. No. Ah. Okay. That must be from my previous run through here. Okay. <clears throat> Now we will pass in a couple parameters. The first one will be the username property. And we'll get this from the object that triggers this workflow. Like that. And we also need to pass in the business phone. We'll call this office phone. And pick the business phone property there. Okay, so now we've got two properties that we're going to be passed into our script. We'll go over here to the script body tab and we're going to do import module active directory to import the AD PowerShell module and then we'll do a get AD user where the identity is equal to the username that's passed in and we pipe that to set AD user and we set the office phone property equal to the office phone parameter that's passed in. That's it, just one line, very simple. You could do m m additional properties that are being passed in, like the office location, the um, business phone, the home phone, doesn't matter, and then you can update all of those properties in a single script there using set AD user. Okay, at this point we're going to save the management pack and this will compile the workflow assembly behind the scenes. Now we need to do a couple more things before we can actually use this. The first one is that we need to copy this DLL to the service manager installation directory and that's at uh, c colon uh, service manager 2010 or c colon program files Microsoft System Center service manager 2010 and then um, we need to modify the XML slightly, as I mentioned earlier. So we'll open up our management pack XML file. There we 
go. And we'll scroll down here to find the uh, subscription criteria. And you can see here that right now it's set up to be that the precondition is uh, for the business phone to be equal to A. And all we're going to do is just change this to be not equal. And grab this line here and replace this line and change this to post. So now our criteria is when the business phone before is not equal to the business phone value after. Very simple change there. And now we'll import this management pack. Okay, so now that we've got this management pack imported, we can go to the service manager UI and test it. We'll go to configuration items, go to the users view, and we'll find, uh, let's say, Charlie. He's my manager. We'll go to edit, and we'll change Charlie's phone number to something new. And in just a few seconds here, we should see, well, we can track kind of the status of this by going to the workflows status view. So we can see here's our, our workflow. We can go to the all instances tab and just, okay, so it's scheduled now. Okay, so now it's succeeded. If we go to Active Directory and we open Charlie, you can see that this phone number has been updated to four. So there you have it. One line PowerShell script, very easy to use in the authoring tool there with a wizard and a drag and drop of the PowerShell script activity.